Right then guys, so the FM23 beta is here and I wanted to take a look at one of the brand new headline features right off the bat. I wanted to look at the brand new UEFA branding that has been officially licensed in FM23 and I thought no better way of doing that for you guys than to show you the Champions League final and what it looks like in all its glory, trophy, lift and all. So I have dived into the game and to give the full experience what I've had to do is take control of one of the two teams in the Champions League final. So the two teams in the Champions League final are Manchester City, a licensed team, and Liverpool, a non-licensed team. So because I'm doing Manchester City in my own beta save, I thought I would be Liverpool. So I've just jumped into the game. I've gone into the tactics. I've just loaded up a 4-3-3 gig and press. It's what Liverpool play. It's what I'm expecting Liverpool to play for the remainder of the season. So I'm just going to be interested to see how all of this pans out. Um, it does look like if I go on the Premier League, uh, Manchester City did win the Premier League. So they're probably favourites to win this one. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. Obviously, you've got the UEFA branding here. They do have the branding for the Champions League, the Europa League, the Europa Conference League and the UEFA Super Cup as well, which I personally think is a nice little touch. It's a nice little immersion feature. They've obviously got stuff around the group draws and stuff like that. And when you progress into the knockouts, you can see the different stuff around who you can play because in that first knockout round, you know, two teams from England cannot play each other. There's little identifiers now on that during the draw. So you can kind of see who can actually play who. But there is one thing I do need to do, which is add on these bad boys because the Champions League music is officially licensed in this year's game. So we are going to advance into things. I'm just going to pick the team. I'm not going to be in control of it too, too much. But hopefully I can be the first person to win a Champions League on FM23. Max Ahrens is a new addition to this Liverpool team. But other than that, everything looks pretty straightforward. We are going to submit this team and get ourselves into the full immersion experience. So we have Reese Williams. I've got to give him a number. Let's give him the number 31. And the teams are preparing to warm up. So when you get into the Champions League, you can see the Champions League branding on the team sheets and stuff. I think the team sheet revamp has uh, made it look quite nice, you know, sort of making the font of the substitute smaller. I think it's, I think it looks quite nice, to be perfectly honest. I was a sucker for the team sheet last season. I'm going to say to the boys, go out there and impress me. It's my first match in charge of Liverpool, so I'm sure it will go swimmingly, right? The Champions League final. Um, so we are positive here. We're, you can see the UEFA branding here. Obviously, some of the UEFA sponsors as well. You can see the current holders are Real Madrid and the team that have won it the most times in the top right-hand corner. Um, but obviously, the UEFA branding in the uh, pre-match press conference and stuff like that is really, really good. Before we get into things any further, guys, please do, if you are into fm23 drop a like on today's video and so consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help me out and help this video get there and get a little bit of a boost in that algorithm with you guys doing that and also comment in the comment section and let me know what you actually think of this feature is it a headline feature are you happy that this is in football manager for fm23 we are going to say it's been a memorable journey so far here. Naby Keita is injured. I'm going to say it's clear to lose a player the calibre of Naby Keita is a problem. Uh, and then... Oh. The team sheets look great. The music in the ears, again, fantastic. The TIFO as well, the branding around the stadium. As the players come out, it builds. The referee picks up the match ball. Oh. This is brilliant, guys. This is honestly brilliant. The fact that this is in the game, it's officially licensed, is really, really nice. I'm going to play through the game here, and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit whilst we have things going on. We're going to switch it to key highlights, but it is Liverpool versus Manchester City in the Champions League final. Is this a little bit of foreshadowing by Football Manager, considering one of the other new features is how improved the AI managers are? Um, obviously, because we are in the game, I am going to try and win it as Liverpool manager. But obviously, we will see the trophy lift at the end, which is kind of the thing I'm looking forward to. I've seen stills of it. They released stills of it in some of their work in progress in the features update video. But I really want to see it in game. Um, but obviously, we've got the Champions League branding in the top left hand corner in terms of the time and the, the Man City and Liverpool names and stuff. Exactly how you would imagine things looking exactly how it does look for the Champions League. We have a free kick here. Mo Salah to the far post. Darwin Nunez loses that one in the air. 
But there is a second phase there. No, there's not. It looks like a potential Manchester City counter-attack. You will start to see in some of these highlights, though, how the match engine has changed in terms of players actually thinking that they can intercept the ball. So having the players with high decisions and stuff like that is going to be really nice as Luis Diaz puts Liverpool into the lead after 37 minutes. That is a very nice goal as well, taken very nicely on the volley. We'll just watch that one again. Thiago on the left-hand side, down to Andy Robertson, into Fabinho, gets away from his man, touch on the chest, and that is a very emphatic volley past a very good goalkeeper in Edison to give us the lead. Am I going to be the first manager to win the Champions League? on FM23? I can only hope so. We've got a free kick for Manchester City here. KDB can really strike them. Oh my God. That is a delightful free kick from Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> As I said, guys, some of the actual changes to the match engine look so slick and in terms of some of the passing and the crossing and stuff like that, not just the decision making. Um, so in terms of the match engine, I'm hoping you can really see some improvements in this year's game. Obviously, this is still the beta version. This isn't the full release. Um, let's just say something about the fans. Hopefully we can go on and win this. Um, because I really do want to be lifting that Champions League trophy with the music blaring out and all of that good stuff. I really do want to see that. As we go into the second half, I'm just going to encourage the team so that we can see a few more highlights here. As Manchester City throw the ball in, KDB into the penalty area, cuts it back. Riyad Mahrez misses an absolute sitter. Hmm. 20 minutes of the game to go. Can we push on for a winner? as big Virgil van Dijk has the ball into Luis Diaz. Big Verge out to Joe Gomez. Henderson. You can see the decision making from some of these players is really, really nice. Mo Salah gets a little bit of space, cuts it back. Luis Diaz again. Oh my God. Some of the finishes and some of the play from Luis Diaz in this is absolutely brilliant. We go 2-1 up here. You can see though, Max Aarons hits the ball long. Salah gets onto it, cuts it back, sells two defenders, bounces. That is a lovely half volley from Luis Diaz right into the top bins. That is absolutely exquisite you you really really do love to see it 20 minutes 15 minutes of this game to go we're going to chuck a bit of praise in here hopefully we can manage to cheese our way to a champions league trophy kdb is the false nine obviously looks like erling Haaland must be injured hopefully this isn't a sign of things for me in the beta as we have the two minutes injury time and Let's go, boys. Let's go. Henderson with the trophy. <sighs> yeah, this is this is sick. <laughs> I think the stage looks brilliant. I think the trophy itself looks really, really nice. The music is such a nice little touch. Obviously, you can toggle it off and on in the preferences if you did want to do that. But that is a first look at the UEFA branding in FM23. What did you think of it? Please do let me know down in that comment section. As I mentioned, if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel as well because there's going to be a lot more FM23 content to come. But if you want to watch a few more things, check out this video right here where I take a look at the new other feature, the supporter confidence. It's really, really a nice addition, which ultimately, thinking about it, could get you sacked.